And now, here's a look at what's happening in your neighborhood. It appears this morning that New York Times Roger Clark is leaving the television business and, uh, and opening a bakery. Look at this. The, uh, the scene at the Jewish Children's Museum oh, this morning. Roger's in, in his, his storefront uh, working away there. Uh, it's actually a, an effort to make sure that military personnel serving overseas don't miss Passover. Roger, good morning. Hi, Pat. Yeah, I'm at I, li the, I like your shop three. there. Thank you. Yeah, this is uh, we're at the Jewish Children's Museum, and uh, they have an interactive matzah bakery here, which uh, you can come to on Sundays and, and actually learn how to make matzah. And, uh, you know, I've eaten a lot of matzah in my life, but I never knew this is how you make it. And now I'm finding out, and it is a lot of fun, let me tell you. Because <laughs> look at this. It's all gooey and stuff. You get to mix it. But, um, but, this is, but, not, but today is a special day because uh, not only are they going to be making matzah here, kids from schools all across the area, but they're going to be sending the matzah and also some really nice, great notes to uh, troops overseas to make sure that uh, they have a happy Passover and all that kind of stuff. And well, let's talk more about it with the matzah technician. I'm going to get in trouble, Levi, because the station's going to charge me for this microphone because it's going to have matzah goo on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, uh, Levi uh, Welton is, uh, I guess, the I Matzah technician for the program, which is called Operation I Matzah. And uh, this is what a great, what a great idea to make sure that uh, our, our, our troops overseas get some nice notes and some matzah and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. actually, the Jewish Children's Museum and the Aleph Institute were sending messages of the holiday spirit and of home to all the soldiers with a matzah that the children are baking for them here today. And later on today, we're going to have some military personnel coming in to speak with the kids and tell them how much soldiers appreciate getting messages from home, especially around the holiday seasons. And it's a great program for the kids here because, uh, so basically they get to here, they, 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 they pick their own wheat sort of out of a, a makeshift wheat field. Uh, you come in here, you get the flour, you get the water, you throw it all together, mix it, you guys got the oven here too, and everything comes out nice, uh, and you have matzah, right? Yeah, there's actually just some wheat over there, and they help grind it, and they make it into flour, and then they bake it themselves. So it's very, very interactive, and they come home saying, we built our own masas, we baked our own masas. Mm. They're very excited about this. Yeah, we, 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 I want to see some, hey, we, we have actually some of the matzah. We, we have, um, come on over, let's see that matzah. Here she comes. We got to see some of it. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, look at this. So this is, so this is, this is, this is matzah. This is the matzah, and when the Jews were leaving the uh, uh, land of Egypt, at the Exodus, they baked this as was their food, the bread of faith, the bread of sustenance. And today, and until April 1st, until the actual holiday of Passover, anybody could come in and bake the matzah. It's part of the Jewish Children's Museum's ongoing exhibits. Mm -hmm. And it wants everyone to get a positive perspective sure. on the Jewish faith, Jewish religion. So it's open to anybody from all different backgrounds, religious backgrounds, cool. cultural backgrounds, to come and take part in making your own matzah and in the holiday of freedom. Levi, thanks a lot. And uh, if you want more information on the program, it is www.jcm.museum. We got the matzo pad, and I'm going to, uh, I guess I should keep mixing, huh? Yeah. I don't know. Because look, it's really not mixed. It has to be like a real solid, nice ball, you know, dough. All right, ro Roger, we look forward to the finished product later. We'll, uh, we'll check back with you. Thank you, Roger Clark at the Jewish Children's Museum. Men and women overseas. Eric Wen's Roger Clark explains. These kids are rolling in dough. It's all part of the process of creating matzah, the unleavened bread traditionally eaten by Jews during the Passover holiday. It's a remembrance of the exodus from Egypt when the Jews didn't have time to let their bread rise, so they wound up with the cracker-like matzah. I like rolling it, so it, I like rolling it really thin. That's like my favorite part, just to roll the matzah dough. The Jewish Children's Museum offers kids a chance to learn how to make matzah from scratch. From harvesting the wheat, pumping water from a well, mixing the water and flour into dough, and then rolling it and baking. Now, according to Jewish law, the entire process of making a matzah has to take less than 18 minutes. That's because you can't let the dough rise or else it won't be kosher for Passover. But it wasn't just about learning to make matzah on Wednesday. School children were also writing what you might call matzograms, notes of encouragement and support for men and women serving in the military overseas. They'll be sent to troops along with actual matzah, part of what has been dubbed Operation I Matzah. We want to give the soldiers the feeling of the holiday and a feeling of home. I think it's really nice. The soldiers are far away fighting, and when they get a sweet little note from back here, I think it's really sweet. 
you think it'll make their day? Yeah. 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 Sergeant Scott Humphrey of the U.S. Army agrees. He's been deployed overseas four times. Gestures like this make the time go by a lot faster because what we have, we have makeshift wall lockers, we have our own little personal areas. So for people who have the Jewish belief, this is something that can help them get by. And these kids say they're glad to help put a smile on a soldier's face. I think it's special that we sent, we're sending the matzah with like special notes um, because they can also celebrate Passover by eating the matzah that we sent them. And whether the soldiers eat the matzah or just read one of the notes, they'll know these kids in Brooklyn are thinking about them. In Crown Heights, Roger Clark, New York One.